State lawmakers indicate that they'll be taking a closer look at a benefit they've given themselves thanks to Fox 11 Investigates. Lawmakers are able to save their unused sick leave without any limit and convert it to pay for health insurance once they retire. After Robert Hornacek started asking some questions about the program, some legislators promised to take action. This evening, Robert has a Fox 11 Investigates follow-up. It's a little-known perk for state lawmakers that is costing taxpayers big bucks. Fox 11 Investigates found that under the state's sick leave program, legislators can bank their unused sick time and convert it to health insurance when they retire. Lawmakers self-report their sick time to the clerk's office and to human resources, but there's no approval or review process. And if you add up the sick time benefits for all 132 state legislators, the Legislative Fiscal Bureau estimates it would be worth nearly $3 million. This is a benefit that really should not be there for elected officials in, in my estimation. Some politicians like state senators Mike Ellis and Rob Coles have never claimed a sick day and have each racked up more than $100,000 in potential benefits. There's nothing that says the lawmakers have to spend the money, but it is set aside for them to use if they choose to use it. In 2007, Coles and Ellis both backed legislation to get rid of the perk, but two separate bills went nowhere. Why do you think nothing happened in 2007? I, I don't think they wanted to lose the benefit. After Fox 11 investigates started asking questions about the program, Coles promised to look into it again. He says he'll ask the Legislative Fiscal Bureau to research the benefit. But Coles believes it will be very difficult to get rid of it. Why do you think it would be so hard to get something done? People want their benefit. They want, they want things. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Even legislators? I mean, I could be wrong. Sure. Sure, some will. State Representative Al Ott has taken sick time, more than 52 hours of it. His benefit is still worth nearly $87,000 which he can use for health insurance when he retires. Does it make sense, in your opinion, for legislators to be able to accumulate their sick leave? Uh, I, I think it is uh, important for the legislature to be treated like others are treated. I mean, we have families, we have ob obligations as well. Ott says he's not sure where he would stand on a bill to end the program. If there's a bill next session to eliminate sick leave accumulation for legislators, would you support it? I would be, um, I'd have to give it some thought. There are so many more things we should be discussing today. State Senator Dave Hansen has claimed 24 hours of sick leave and has a benefit worth more than $25,000. He would not take a stand on the issue. Do you think this benefit makes sense for legislators? Again, I'd have to see the bill. I never, you know, I don't say yes or no on any bill. Bill, bill or no bill? No. Simply does it make us. sense? It's not in front of us. So what happens now? Well, nothing will likely change anytime soon because a bill won't be introduced until next year at the earliest. And even if one is eventually passed to eliminate the sick leave benefit for lawmakers, it will only affect future benefits. The sick leave legislators have already earned isn't going anywhere. For Fox 11 Investigates, I'm Robert Hornacek. One state assembly candidate who saw our story is also promising at this point to change the system should he be elected. Republican David Steffen is running for one of the assembly seats in the Green Bay area. He says the first bill he would introduce would end that perk. In a statement, Steffen said in his words, it's outrageous perks like this sick day scam that breeds cynicism toward elected officials.